Unreal 5.6 is in preview currently. We're going to go through changes in a hands-on. Let's play a little game. If you knew about all of these changes, then comment below and you'll get a cookie. If you didn't know about any of these changes, comment below about what you're most excited to see. Let's begin. Unreal 5.6. The first big change is our gizmo at the top. So now this is the old gizmo, this bottom one here. And we can see that we've moved the perspective around over here and we've moved all the snapping tools over to here. It's still pretty much the same, but it is a different change to UI. But if I got you covered, so normally you wouldn't see this second bar. So we can come to our console commands down here and we can type in tool menus, viewport, toolbars, zero. And that will return it to the old one or we could put it on two to just have the new one, or we could put it on one to have both of them. I don't know why you'd ever want both of them, but I've got you covered. So I'm gonna put it on two, because if it's new, we should probably get used to it because it's here to stay. The cube has changed. Now, this was a change that no one asked for, no one needed. I don't know why they've done this, but our lovely blue cube is now white so this one bit of color in this entire scene rather than a gray horrible hospital place they've taken it away from us we just we just can't have nice things it's now white so it's a minor change but it's still a change nonetheless the settings option in the top corner so in 5.5 there's the settings option here it just had a bunch of real-time settings that we could use. That has been taken away. So now to quick, I use this normally to quickly add plugins. Now I'll just need to go to edit and add them here for my plugins, of which you'll need. So if we go to plugins, to get access to the MetaHuman stuff, you need to access this MetaHuman creator just here. So now we can build MetaHumans inside the actual Unreal source. So if we right click, we can come down to MetaHuman, get MetaHuman character, and it will create this MetaHuman character. You will also need the MetaHuman creator core data, which doesn't install as standard. So you just need to tick that and install it. And then in our MetaHuman character creator, we can change all the body types. So we can mess with all the body types, see how fat they are, see the height. Well, that is an interesting uh, character right there. He skipped leg day. Uh, and you can, yeah, you can just mess with them, reset them, change them how they want to be set. And so what, if you join our Discord and post a meta human that you've made, we can see who makes the most ridiculous meta human. This is probably a contender. Uh, but yeah, you can have a play around, have a slide. It will let you adjust all the body shapes and you can also then come to the head and change all the head shape, make him big brained and in some, a larger nose. Just generally uh, change face shapes and features and customize it to be how you would want your character to be or not to be is the case maybe i don't know what i'm going for here i to make some modern art and then in materials we've got access to all of these new skin tones and skin colors and obviously these are all meant to be humans and i've created some sort of alien monster hybrid snail thing uh, you can change all the face textures. There's 152 face textures. Add age to them and add extra contrast to them. And, uh, to the spots and freckles and so sort of all, all sorts that you may want. So it's worth checking out for sure. We can add redness to the skin. Currently, I don't believe the hair is working as it should be, but this is only preview. So in 
the full version, I expect that that will be completely working. But this great character that we have here completely ruined metahumans for everyone. So that's metahumans, and it's a it's a welcome change, different body types, and uh, more customization options are never bad. If we take a look at the content drawer, we right click, we can see that we've had the new basic assets added. This is only a minor change, but it's still an interesting one. They've added the animation blueprint here, and they've added the level sequence. They seem to be pushing animations a lot. We'll take a look a bit more about animations and level sequence in a sec. The All the tooltips and everything have been revamped, so they've all got this new different style. In fact, everything has a new sort of cleaner style to it. You see all the icons are just a little bit cleaner. Um, so that's nice. That's a different uh, way of looking at stuff, including so all this material stuff. Now, one thing to, that is interesting is in the materials. We now have access to this play button. Then if I click to preview this one, see what happens. So I can see what a constant yellow looks like when I multiply it by 10. And a blue when I multiply that by blue. And if we feed in, say, a, a constant vector, we get the runtime preview material. So that's quite nice. I've got a level sequence already. This one just here. And if I select my primary fire, which is an animation that I've got, and I look at the, the hand R, I can see that I've turned on trails. So I would just go to the top here and turn off the trails. Now if I go to hand R, the trails aren't on. But the trails are nice to be able to turn on. and just turn them on and select uh, hand R, and then we can see where the actual animation is going. So all the way over here, all the way back here, and it starts off here. And we can see just about where each part of the animation, where the key goes, I can see that it jumps like a couple of frames here, and then all the way over here, back again to play again. So that will enable us to better do motion matching because we'll be able to see where the hand trail is and where it's going. So that's really quite a nice feature. If we open up the editor, we can click on our curves here and we can see that we have access to a whole new suite of animation tools. So uh, tween tools as well as it all included and the animation sequences. So we can sort of move those around and mess with them with the slider. So that's really good too. And if we come to our tools and edit, enable a plugin, so the media viewer plugin, then we'll restart. It's enabled, we can go down to windows, tap on media viewer, and we get this media viewer plugin that we can just use. So we can pass in any sort of reference image or a, a video or an animation to be able to use and have that sort of side by side and split that out to be mirrored and then pass in the viewport to the other side. So that's a really handy uh, tool to be able to use for animators. Now 5.6 preview doesn't come with any of the new template maps that were meant to come with 5.6. So I presume that's because it's in preview, but if we look at the templates, then it's just the same as normal. But when 5.6 full releases, there should be a new third person, new first person, there should be a horror template, there should be a platforming template, there should be all sorts of brand new template that should really help with your game design and give you a head start. And we'll cover those as soon as we can. But for now, 5.6 preview doesn't have them. You can get 5.6 uh, downloaded, give it a play, have a look around, change the gizmo, have a, have a play. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and have a great day.